somebody. <laughs> oh, God made it fail. Amen, somebody? In spite of what you've gone through, in spite of what you've had in your life, God made it fail. God made it fail. Thank <laughs> you. 
God bless you, son. Genesis 22. Come on, give God a praise, somebody. Genesis 22. Stand your feet. Come on. We stand for God's reading. Hallelujah. Let's stand. Let's stand. Our feet. Genesis 22. How many know God is good, somebody? In spite of what you're going through, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is what? Good. Hallelujah. Genesis 22. Verse 3, Abraham rose up early in the morning, sat on his ass, took two of his gentlemen with him, and Isaac his son, and clayed the wood for the burnt offering. Someone say burnt offering. And rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. Look at me and say, neighbor, it's afar off. Father God, we thank you right now for your word today. We pray these next fleeting minutes, God, that we'll say your word to encourage your people, spirit yes. of the living God. We have our knowledge, we have scripture, but we need your spirit. For it's the spirit that created the world when the world was formed and without void. So let us say your word to reach your people, either here or those who listen to us by social media. And we give you the glory and the honor. We decrease so that you can increase in Jesus' name. Amen. May we see in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Uh, so this is Father's Day. And this is the day that uh, we commemorate uh, the importance of fathers. Uh, but yet, due to what the enemy has done uh, with fathers, there is a, a drought in the land. Yes. And the drought is not food. The drought is not vegetables. But the drought are fathers in their rightful place. Yes, and when we understand this significance, ladies, that's why uh, those who are single, you should never marry a man that hasn't got himself all together. Mm -hmm. Because as a father, and I know, I know we're in 2023, but I'm old-fashioned, the man leads the home. Uh, uh, that was a weak amen. I said the man leads the home. Amen. And when you understand that, and you understand the significance of that, that's why so many homes are in disarray, because there are not enough men who are leading the home. And understand also, man, just because you have the title of husband doesn't mean you understand the responsibility of husband. Mm -hmm. and that's why we have this, this gap here that where people having the, 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 the name but don't understand the title that goes with it. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that when you are a father, whether physically or mentally, uh, you just can't be there when the baby is born. I, I, you know, my, my son is 33, my daughter is uh, 30, and my other son is 27, praise God. Uh, and I understand that the, 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 the older they get, uh, Godfather, praise God, uh, the more they still need their father. Mm -hmm. And that's why, not yet, but that's why we have to keep our minds and say, all right, Lord, help me to formulate my mind so that I can be the father that I need to be. Amen. There are many people listening to me right now, men understand right now, that the reason why you don't know how to be a good father because you never saw a good example. All right. uh, unless you have the example of fatherhood, you don't know how to be a father to all of your children. And I'm sorry, uh, you know, uh, as a marriage counselor, you know what I'm about to say, praise God. Uh, you really can't be a good father if you don't know how to be a good husband first, my God. Because you can uh, uh, show love to the children, but if they don't see you showing love uh, uh, to their mama and to the wife, there's going to be a uh, discrepancy. Amen, somebody? Uh, 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 Malachi, this is a Bible church. Amen, somebody? Malachi 4, I'm sorry, <laughs> and don't let God follow fool you. He could also play the organ too as well, praise God. Don't, don't let God follow fool you like he don't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing over there. Uh, 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 Malachi 4 and 6, it said, yeah, not yet. And, and, and he shall return the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. Y'all didn't follow me. Let's read it one more time. He shall turn. Some say turn. Uh, and that's the problem is that there are a lot of men that have not turned their mentality. 
Oh, my God. You can't be sexy and still wearing your pants down. Oh, my God. Pass your underwear. I don't hear nobody. No, 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 no. That's why I have not and I will not uh, uh, die in my head. This is just me, praise God. Because I'm 58 years old and I can't be acting like in my 20s. No, no, no. I ain't my 20s. I mean, I'm on 58. I'm talking. I'm two years old, 60. And that's why we got to get you because we got so many men still acting like they're in high school. No, no, no. no the, 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 there is a responsibility that you have. Oh, my God. Oh, be nice, man. Yeah. Oh, because when the sperm come out of you into the woman's matrix, I'll be nice here today. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, the, the beginning just stops there. You still got to be the father. And I go deeper. Uh, uh, some men must understand that when you marry a woman, praise God, uh, especially if she had a bad father figure, uh, there are times that you switch between husband and father because uh, she don't know, I'm going to go somewhere, she don't know how hey, man, to have a father. That's why so many women uh, can be so rebellious with their husband because uh, they never saw the love of a man on her life. Sometimes they show other than that they felt a unwanted touch or a sexual abuse from their father. So that's why when they uh, come on, I'm going deep for that. That's why when they come in contact with a man that loves them, they don't know how to accept it. But that's why the Bible says, "I got, oh my God, I got to turn the heart of the fathers to the children." What would happen if every father got themselves together and called every single one of their children and listen here? I may not have been my best, but I'm turning my heart around now. Oh, because when the father changed, the household changed. Uh, all right, come on, come on. I'm in the text. I'm in the text. Come on, he's that. And he shall turn the heart. Some say the heart of the fathers of the children. Now, 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 now. Uh, uh, we understand Mother's Day was in May. This is Father's Day, all right? And the text didn't say, uh, I'm going to turn the heart of the mothers to the children. No, no. Because as I told y'all, it's the father that predicts the sex. Of the child, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because the man has an XY chromosome uh, and the woman has an XX chromosome, uh, and I don't care what type of change you want to do, uh, the chromosomes don't change. You'll get that tomorrow, praise God. Uh, you can do all you want to do. The, uh, the chromosomes don't change. And so when the seed is given to the woman, my God, uh, if the seed gives the woman a Y, my God, uh, then the child will come out a boy. Mm -hmm. But if the man gives the seed of an X, then the child will come out, I don't hear nobody, uh, he will come out a girl. So that's why uh, the text says here, I will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers. Mm -hmm. Lest I come now and smite a curse upon the earth. Uh, now, I told y'all, my God, in the word of God, uh, if you see the negative, uh, you also got to see the positive. Uh, so if the children are back together with their fathers uh, and the fathers with the children, my God, uh, God won't send the curse, he'll send the blessing. Y'all didn't catch that. Y'all didn't catch that. Uh, the text, come on, come on, come on. The text, the text. Uh, it says, it says, I will come and smite uh, 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 on the earth uh, with a curse. Why? Because the fathers have not changed back to uh, their children. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all know my personal testimony when I moved to my divorce. My God, uh, I had to apologize to my children because I was so caught up in church. Uh, I wasn't being a father first. All right, Sarah. Uh, don't squeeze George too hard. Praise God. Uh, uh, my God. Hey, why? Because I was doing the text. Uh, come on, now. The, the, the text didn't say first, uh, all right, the children's heart turned to the father. The text said, you come on, I'm in the book somebody. Uh, the book says, I will turn the father's heart to the children. Uh, so I had to first repent to my children, uh, and then my children repented to me. Why? Because I'm an example of how things should go. Uh, as a father, oh, I'm doing some teaching about Holly here today. Oh, uh, uh, my God. No, no, no. When you are a father, it doesn't just mean you are a dictator. Matter of fact, uh, a good father is not a dictator. No, no, no. Uh, a good father is a manager, my God. Uh, and he knows, my God, how to appoint, my God, and how to give assignments to the household. Uh, because when a man becomes a dictator, he's really not to sit there. He don't want nobody to help him uh, rule uh, the house. Uh, well, I ain't got time to go to, but the Bible says in Genesis, chapter 2, my God, uh, outside chapter 1, uh, that the woman was supposed to be a help me. Mm -hmm. So it's not about you trying to do everything, but I'm so stressed. Well, you stretch uh, because you're trying to take over every job in the house. My God, uh, when you got a wife with you, you work together to accomplish things. I don't hear nobody. 
God. Oh my God, that's why there's so many things jacked up in this world because the Father's hearts have not been turned. They don't know how to, my God, submit themselves to the will and the honor of God. Oh, but when we submit ourselves to God, we start seeing God move in our lives like we've never seen before. Oh, when we submit ourselves to God, then we get ready for our breakthroughs and breakthrough. Uh, but you can't get no breakthrough until you know how to submit yourself to the will of God. I know men will be cheeseful and will macho, my God. But if you want your house, my God, blessed, you got to learn how to turn your heart to God. And as you turn your heart to God, then God will help you to turn your heart to your family. Uh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Second Chronicles. This is a Bible church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Behave friendly. Uh, I know Bishop Black will agree with me on this. Uh, oh my God. Come on, you young preachers that listen to me on social media. Uh, I know you got your iPad, but when's the last time you took the Bible? I'll let that go. Praise God. <laughs> Uh, Second Chronicles 7 14 says, If my people, huh, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray uh, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then some say, Then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right, uh, now the Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Now, uh, oh, there's something about when a woman humbles themselves. Uh, there's something about when a child humbles themselves. Uh, oh, but heaven moves uh, when a man humbles himself. Because uh, when a man, oh uh, my God, not yet. Uh, when a man humbles himself, then the family will follow. Uh, uh, some of you have been listening on social media right now. Don't understand uh, why your wife is rebellious or why your children are rebellious. Uh, because you are rebellious. Again. Right, one more time again. All right, one more time again. You and I are the leaders to the whole. Come on, man. I know what the world is saying. Praise God, but the devil is a liar. We're going to do it something the Bible way. Oh, my God. And some of you men are saying, why are my children rebellious? And why is my wife rebellious? Even the dog and the cat and the goldfish are rebellious. They are rebellious because you happen to be the leader. And based on what you are doing, the house is following you. That's why here. That's why the Bible, the Bible says, if my people which I call by my name will humble themselves in prayer, it's sick. Come on, somebody, God. And that's why, as a good father, you got to continue to seek the face of God. Because if you don't seek God's face, you start doing things the old way. Some say the old way. And that's why we got to move into another capacity and move into another mind frame. This day. So, oh my God, I want to do it. Some say God's way. Because when I do it God's way, God gets the glory. Come on, somebody got to give a praise right now. Come on, give a praise right now. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Give me 20 more minutes. I'm going to try to holler in Jesus' name. Praise God. I'm sorry, just a cold hit me. Praise God. I try to behave on you guys and, and be real nice. Praise God. But when it gets on me, it just gets on me. Praise God. All right, Psalms 133 said, Behold, how good and pleasant. Somebody talk to me here. Thank you, Bishop. How good and pleasant it is for brethren to talk together in unity. All right, man, hear me loud and clear. I know you're helping around the house, and I know you're helping your children, but there's something with men get together and to encourage one another. That's why there's so many issues in our house today because uh, there ain't enough mentors, Bishop, to help these men understand uh, what it is to be a man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know, with the fan, you are historically a black color, so let's do some quick black history moments. In Africa, a man was, oh, I'm going to get in trouble for this. A man was not a man until the elders in the town told everybody this was a man. Oh my God. Oh my God. There were certain tests that that boy had to go through before he was pronounced a man. Mm -hmm. Oh, but in 2023, we got single mom. God bless you, single mom. You're doing your best. Well, let me help you out. You don't call your little boy a man, man, because he ain't a man yet. Again. Some of you calling your, your, your little young boys a man, man. That's why when they become a man, they don't know how to be it because you pre-ordered 
after them before they were ready. <laughs> oh, y'all got quiet on that one. No, no, no. He is not the man until he understands his responsibility. I was listening on social media and this guy was laughing because he had six kids with four different baby mamas and wasn't taking care of none of them. And he thought it was funny, my God. And the woman host said, why are you laughing about this? Because I believe someone in his childhood called him a man man. You ain't no man man until you learn how to take care of your family. Y'all got quiet here. You ain't no man if you see your wife pumping gas and you in the car at the same time. You ain't no man, man. If you see your wife looking at the pretty bank and you got money in your pocket, you don't give it to her. I don't hear nobody. I don't know about you. I don't want no one to make my wife into a whore. I'm a husband, my God. And all the money she needs comes from me. I don't hear nobody. Oh, y'all got quiet on me here. But that's what a man does. A man takes care of responsibilities. Oh, my. And I told y'all, my name is Tim. I got another side of me called Jerome. You never want to see Jerome. Because Jerome ain't saved. <laughs> Jerome don't go to church. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> because I understand, even though I got the title of a bishop, <laughs> and I got two PhDs, oh glory to God, earned. <laughs> oh, and you match with my wife, Portia. <laughs> There's going to be a healing service <laughs> because you're going to die. Y'all get that tomorrow. Huh? Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go to the text. So Abraham, my God, the first. Huh? Oh my God, he didn't have a child, my God. And because of his patience with God, mm -hmm, uh, God gave him a child. Some say a child. All right, all right. All right, all right. So for the child to be born, mm -hmm, uh, Abraham had to be. Some say obedient. He had to trust God for the child to come. And sometimes in our walk with God, my God, we got to understand the scripture. The scripture says the just shall live by what? Faith. And sometimes the enemy wants to come against you and harm you. But you got to understand that I cannot let what's outside of me come inside. Am I right, somebody? Uh, how many know the enemy will come into your past and, and come into where you are and, and try to miss uh, my, 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 my God, uh, to misappropriate you, to make you lose your blessing. But I've told you guys over a, uh, uh, over several times uh, that sometimes God is waiting on you uh, to get yourself together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as men, uh, uh, hear me loud and clear, me, uh, we need constant spiritual mental surgery. Uh, we were told as men, men don't cry, and, and men are not uh, uh, connected to their emotions. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, oh my God, uh, tell me, Bishop, uh, the, uh, the, 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 my God, uh, don't speak in tongues yet. Uh, uh, the, 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 the shortest scripture in the Bible uh, is John 11 and 35. Uh, it says, it says, it says, uh, Jesus wept. And so if Jesus cried, the Son of God, the incarnate, my God, I feel it coming here. The incarnate of God, if Jesus cried over his brother, what's wrong with you crying over your family and crying over my God? What's going on? But let me stop real quick. Jesus did just cry. He rose Lazarus from the dead. Yes, sir. And that's where the devil tries to get us. I feel it right here. Huh? That's why the devil gets us, men. Huh? We may cry, but God don't want us just to cry. Huh? He wants us to walk to our dead things huh? and walk to things that are not right huh? and speak to and say, you got to get up from here huh? because you are part of my lungs. Huh? And, uh, don't yell yet, brother. What are you yelling for? Oh, boy. Because you are part of my loins and because you are part of my heritage, help me, men. You got to speak prophetically to your children and say, The devil is alive. I may have been wrong for a while, but I've got myself together. Uh, uh, thank you, Bishop. Finally, uh, and because I've got myself together, uh, I want you to get together because uh, I am the head of the home. Uh, oh, and some of you got your head down saying, Bishop, uh, uh, I got several baby mamas. Uh, I'm telling you right now, God is still able to redeem uh, and put it back together again. Uh, uh, you may not be with your baby mama because you're crazy. Come on, somebody. Uh, let's be honest. Uh, you know, we were crazy. You lay down with them, but you still want to stop. There they go, friendly. Uh, oh, you're not ready for that. Praise God. Uh, oh, my God. My God, Jesus is saying, don't just weep over your, come on, men. Don't just weep over your men. Speak, my God, to your issues. Oh, go to the grave. Go 
know where they're at. And they may not want to talk to you because you did things you had no business doing. Oh, but if you say a word to your children, I'm a witness, they'll come back and say, Daddy, I'm sorry to. But we got to be an example of what we want them to do. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise. All right, all right, all right. Give me 15 more minutes and I'll be and I'll be done. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Where's the text? All right. It's right there, right in front of you, frankly. Oh, there it is, right there. All right. All right, God. Romans 4 and 17. Leave me alone, Bishop. Praise God. Say, it was written, I was made the a father of me. Some say many nations. Before him, whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and caused those things which be not. As though they were. All right, all right, man. This is Father's Day. All right, all right. I don't care what society says. I don't care what the public opinion says. Nothing happens, a germination of a child, unless there is a sperm. Oh, I love this message here already. Every month, a woman has a cycle at a certain time. All right, Pam. Yes, I am. Oh, my God. And the egg is in the fallopian tube. Come on now. Let's do a quick biology lesson here. Am I right, Greg? Yes, I am. I don't need you to say amen or not. I know I'm talking to the truth, man. And so, uh, uh, in the fallopian tubes, uh, 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 the fallopian tubes, Mama Vera, uh, is waiting for a sperm. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they ain't got no sperm, I know Mama Vera, uh, you passed that time. You just listen. Amen, somebody. Uh, Mama Vera's out there. You can fish up. All right. Uh, let me keep on talking. <laughs> And so, because the fallopian tube uh, is waiting for the egg, and when there's still no sperm, uh, help me out, women, uh, then the flow comes through, uh, because there was mm -hmm, no sperm, my God. Uh, but, 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 uh, if there is a sperm, uh, oh my God, then you start to become incubated, uh, oh, I feel God right now, uh, and then, my God, it becomes an embryo, uh, and then it becomes a baby. Why? Because it finally got the sperm. Uh, uh, the text says here uh, that even though the body of Abraham was dead, uh, God says, I still got something in you, boy. And I'm not going to be, I'm going to be nice because you know I am about sex, praise God. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be nice. Oh, but God touched Abraham. Uh, there was no Bible back in those days. Uh, Oh, y'all got quiet. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. All right, to go deep. Uh, there was no Cialis, my God. Uh, but God touched the body of Abraham. Uh, oh, my God. Because apparently, Bishop, uh, oh, Sarah still had a flow. Mm -hmm. uh, and God said, because I gave you a promise, uh, uh, I've got to touch your body, Abraham. Uh, I'm talking to every man under the sound of my voice right now uh, to understand that in spite of where you are, uh, God can touch your mental and physical body uh, and get yourself and family back together again. Uh, well, I got time to go to it, but the Bible says in Genesis, uh, he said, anything too hard for God. Uh, and you men must understand. Uh, hear me here on social media. Uh, there is nothing too hard for God. I'm a witness here. Uh, my first marriage died, uh, but my children were still alive. Uh, I told my son yesterday, I saw him yesterday, praise God. Uh, I said, when I got my divorce, I could have went down back to Tallahassee. Uh, oh my God, to try to take over my father's church. Uh, but I said, I couldn't leave my children because my children needed me. Uh, and I'm so glad I didn't lie. I'm so glad I didn't move. Uh, Oh, because my children did need me. Why? Because they were a part of my loins. And I needed my loins blessed. And even though I was going through a heartache and going through pain, I had to take care of my loins. So that quiet here. Men, hear me loud and clear. I need you to make up your mind right now that things may be bad, but I still got to take care of my loins. I got still got to take care of my children to make sure the devil doesn't take what God gave me. Am I right, somebody? All right, uh, let's go to the text. So y'all think, oh, I, I need to forget the text, praise God. Uh, and Abraham rose early, so they early uh, in the morning. All right, that means, all right, I got 10 more minutes here. Uh, that means a man of God is not lazy. Uh, he gets up early and prays for his family. <laughs> he gets up early, my God. Uh, why? 
God, he get up early, my money down. Because the devil works early. Oh, my God. All right, all right, I'm going to tell myself. Uh, will someone tell on me? All right. Uh, so yesterday was my stepson's birthday. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we went out, praise God, and after he went out, praise God, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he went to a, a bar, praise God. Uh, don't trip. I uh, did hear my story, praise God. Uh, so when I got to the bar, praise God, uh, they took my car out because they, they carted me. Uh, Greg, I'm 58 years old. I, the first time I got carted, praise God. Uh, and I told him that I'm old. He said, yeah, I know you're old, praise God. Uh, so why didn't you cart me? Anybody, they go, praise God. And so when I was in there, praise, I was just praying, my God. I had my Shirley Temple. No, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Shirley Temple is a non alcoholic drink, all right? Praise God. And I had my water, praise God. And God led me while I was there to walk around the bar area in Stanford. And I should start praying. I just I just start praying, praise God. And thank God that God gave me an opportunity to talk to a couple. Came to my car, all right? Y'all see me later, praise God. See, when you got the Holy Ghost, you afraid to go into the enemy's camp uh, and speak a word. Uh, oh, yeah, everybody else was my friend. And uh, everybody else, my God, was drinking. Uh, but what everybody was doing that, uh, I was praying. I don't hear nobody. Uh, because I understand, my God, uh, greater is he. Y'all help me. Where is he that's in me and in he uh, that's in the world? Uh, that's why I'm a dangerous Negro because uh, I am afraid of the devil. Uh, oh, a lot of times people only fight the devil in church, uh, but I've learned to fight the devil on his ground. Uh, but that's what Jesus did. Uh, he came to earth, my God. Uh, I wish somebody looked at text here. Uh, he came to earth to die for us, uh, and because he died, he rose from the grave. Uh, and not only did he raise, but he ascended back. To the Father. Huh? Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be heavy. All right. Yeah. He rose early. So was early. Uh, saddle his ass, my God. Uh, uh, I'll leave the ass alone here today. Because uh, Bishop is here. But, uh, he saddled his ass uh, and took uh, 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 he took uh, of his young men uh, with him. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, that's why, my God, oh, I'm going to get in trouble with this. Uh, when you are a man, uh, uh, you hang around. Me. You don't hang around women every single day. I love me some Porsche. My, I love me some Porsche. Oh my God. I let, it, let it go. Let it go, frankly. I love it. But, 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 I like to hang around me because we encourage one another. Uh, and Abraham was about to do something serious. Uh, he was about to go do something serious. Uh, and that's why he hung her. He brought his two young men with him. Uh, to keep him encouraged. Uh, help me, men. Uh, uh, we need to understand uh, that when we join together and fight the enemy, uh, we got more power against the enemy. Uh, for the Bible, I feel like preaching now, uh, the Bible says one can chase a thousand. Uh, and two can chase 10,000. Uh, what I tell the young people that come for counseling, uh, that if you're not chasing the devil, uh, the devil is chasing you. Uh, and when you are a couple, my God, uh, and you are married, uh, you got 10,000 demons coming after you uh, if you don't chase them. Uh, and that's why everybody said, listen, I got I to gotta get my stuff together because uh, God about to tell me to do something. Uh, and that's why, men, you got to look around and see what type of men are around you. Uh, you don't want no weak men around you that tells you, huh? oh, just give up. No, 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 no. You need men that will pray with you. Men that will encourage you. Men uh, that will keep you in prayer. Men uh, that will say the right thing and not the wrong thing. Uh, men that will tell you to stay faithful uh, and not be loosey goosey. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look at the interpretation. Uh, men that will say, listen, you can't do that uh, because you got a heritage looking at you. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's why on the Father's Day, uh, I just don't have the title of Father. Uh, I got to work like a father. Uh, come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Uh, all right, then. Uh, get my thing ready. Praise God. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, that, that, right uh, he rose early. So they early. early. To the young men, uh, Isaac, his son, and claimed the wood uh, for the uh, for something to burn offering. Uh, and rose up uh, and went to the place where God told him. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right my, uh, my time is fleeting here. Uh, uh, Romans 12. This is a Bible church. Uh, Romans 12 and 2, what does it say, preacher? It says, uh, be not conformed to this world, uh, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, as a believer in God, uh, I've got 
to constantly renew my mind. And men, we got to renew our minds daily. Because if we don't renew our minds, the enemy will take us to other places. We ain't got no business doing. For those of you who are married, if you don't renew your mind, you wake up in the wrong bed. I don't hear nobody. If you don't, oh, y'all got quiet, y'all got quiet here. If you don't renew your mind, you do things with other people you ain't got no business doing. Why? Because you're not renewing your mind. Can I help you out real quick? I will. Mm -hmm. When God saves you, oh, that's just the beginning, my God. You need to constantly have your mind renewed and put in the right place. Why? Because when you end up not in the right place, come on, watch me here. You find yourself going to the place you got to be going to. Let me help you. When you're thinking low and you are depressed, then you're putting yourself in a bad situation, my God. And that's why you see the devil so quickly because you're low. But that's why the Bible says, I got to have a renewing of my mind. Because if I don't renew my mind, the enemy will take over my mind. Y'all got quiet here. And help me do things I ain't got no business doing. Oh, but look at somebody say, David. Uh, I gotta have my mind renewed. All right, uh, all right, all right, all right I'm almost there. Ephesians chapter six, verse four. All right, and you fathers, uh, oh, I'm gonna go somewhere with this. Uh, promote not your children to wrath, uh, uh, but bring them up in the nurture and the admiration of the Lord, the Bishop. Uh, all right, come with the text. Uh, so we got fathers. If you ain't fathering. Uh, correctly, huh, then you are provoking your children to wrath. Huh. In other words, the anger that your father taught you, huh, you're going to stop to teach your children. Huh. And I don't know about y'all, but we can't keep the cycle going on. Huh. I got to start a healing in my mind. Huh, because the Bible, I got time to go to because my time is running here. Huh. But the Bible says, my God, I give no place huh, to the devil. Huh. But right above it, it says, huh, don't let the sun go down on your right. Uh, and that's why so many men are locked up in jail. Uh, that's why so many people are jacked up. Uh, because they're letting anger get the best of them. Uh, and as a black man and as a marriage counselor, as a mentor, uh, there's so many angry men out here. Uh, because their father wasn't there or their father abandoned them. Uh, or their father had a secret love child. Uh, they didn't find nothing about uh, But I'm here to tell you it's time to heal from your father's sins. Uh, because if you don't hear you will continue the same curse that your father had to go through. Oh, but I need somebody to get in your mind right now that I'm not going to bring more anger to my child, but I'm going to nourish them and give them the love and comfort. My son is six foot two, but I still kiss him on the cheek, not on the lips. Come on, somebody. Because I've drawn him the love I have for my child. And when we understand the, 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 the predicament that we are, uh, and understand that we're not supposed uh, to hurt our children, uh, but we're supposed to nurture them. Uh, and if more people would nurture instead of hurting, uh, they will get a blessing from the Lord. Uh, uh, let me go to the story here. So Abraham, uh, he had to be obedient to the Lord. Uh, and because of his obedience, God blessed him uh, and made him the father of many nations. Uh, Oh, but in Genesis chapter 2, 22, and verse 4 says, uh, And Abraham lifted up his eyes uh, and saw the place of far off. Uh, and when you learn to lift up your eyes, man, uh, you're able to see your blessings a little bit. Uh, I went to Niagara Falls a couple of weeks ago with a Porsche uh, and I had an older gentleman, my God, say to me, Sir, uh, I said, Yes, sir. He said, uh, Don't look down. Uh, look up. Uh, I got a revelation from that. Uh, oh, we got to look up more. Uh, Abraham had to look up. Uh, and see what God was about to do. And because of what we're going through in life, we don't let God lift up our heads and see the blessings of the Lord. I feel like preaching now. And that's why we got to see the blessings of the Lord. Uh, over our lives uh, and not let the enemy get the best of us uh, uh, but the devil is alive uh, you are in the war right now uh, we got to tell ourselves I'm not going to stay in that place uh, but I'm going to give God the praise and the glory uh, because God has been good to me uh, God has opened up doors for me uh, that I could never have before uh, God has done things I could not have seen uh, and because of the goodness of the Lord uh, all right, because of the good, all right, old fashioned today, because of the goodness of the Lord, I gotta give God a praise. And men, I'm encouraging everyone don't stay there, don't stay in your bad place, but rise. 
and give God a praise. Rise and shout and give God the glory. Some say, yes, Lord. Uh, Psalm 89 and 2. Uh, I got two more scriptures. I sit myself down. Uh, for I have said, mercy shall be built up uh, forever. Uh, thy faithfulness shall make thy established in the very heavens. Uh, and because God has established you uh, and God has blessed you, uh, I need you to get yourself ready uh, to see God do things you never speak before. Uh, the devil want to keep you depressed, man. Uh, the devil want to keep you reminding yourself of your old ways uh, and the things that you've done wrong. Uh, but the devil is alive. I'm ready to get up from my place and do the will of God. Some say, yes, Lord. And when I understand I'm ready to do God's will, I'll see things I've never seen before. Mm. Mark chapter 14 and verse 32 it says, and they came to a place which was named Gethsemane and he said to the disciples, sit ye here while I shall pray. And a lot of times, men, you don't know how to pray. You know how to complain. You know how to murmur and worry. But I hear the word of God says, you got to lift up your eyes until the hymn will come with your help and pray in your Gethsemane. Don't let the enemy let you stay there. But the devil is alive. I'm going to say, God, you got my children. God, you got my family. And the devil is alive. I've got to do it God's way. You're not my way. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Uh, and when we understand uh, the will and power of God, uh, oh, we see God do things greater. Uh, and the watch why the Bible says he's in me. Uh, but I got to pull it, so they pull it out of me. Uh, I got to pull the glory out of me. Uh, and that's why the Bible says Hosea chapter 10, uh, in verse 12, uh, show to yourself in righteousness, uh, weep in mercy. Uh, break up your follow ground. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, some say break up, break it up. Break up your follow ground. You can't let the devil let you stay there. But break up your old ways. Break up your old mentality. Break up what the devil trying to do. Because it's time for you to plant your seed. No seed can be planted until you break up the old ground. No seed can be blessed until you let go of the old. I'm trying to tell somebody out there on the sound of my voice. I know what the devil's trying to do. He's trying to keep you depressed. He trying to keep you worried. He trying to keep you in a bad place. But you gotta shake yourself. He said, "I'm getting ready to see God bless my family." Father said, "Understand, God." He said to bless you. He said to do great things. You gotta shake it off. Take up your bad decisions. Take up your bad mindset. I know what your daddy did. When you just start a new generation, I ain't got time to go to it. But Abraham, he had to let go of his father's old ways. His father was an idol worshiper. Am I right, somebody? His father was an idol worshiper. But Abraham made up his mind. I'm not going to do it my father's way. I'm going to do it God's way. I need men to make up their mind today. I'm going to do it God's way. I know what my daddy did. I know what my grandfather did. But I made up my mind. I'm doing it God's way. Because my family is depending on me. I got to pray over my family. I know I made a mistake. But help me, man. Don't stay in your mistake. Wash yourself and be clean. Come on, give out a praise. I got one more scripture. I got one more scripture. And I'll sit myself down. Come on, give God a praise tonight. Uh, thank you, God, Father. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, that's why the Bible says in Psalms 51. Uh, let me give you some context. Uh, oh, my God. Hey, uh, he found out uh, that God found him out. Uh, he had sex with bad sheep. Uh, and he did a lot of bad things. Uh, but when my God was David got himself together, Norman, uh, look what the Bible says. Uh, David says in Psalm 51, uh, purge me. Uh, with his uh, I shall be clean. Uh, wow. Me, huh? And I shall be watered in snow. Huh? Make me to hear joy and gladness. Huh? That the bold thou have made me to rejoice. Huh? The Bible of the verse 10. Huh? Create in me. Huh? Something that I'll clean. Huh? 
and renew a right spirit within me. So now let God take it out. Some say, Lord, take it out. Take out the anger. Take out the resentment. Oh, that's another one right there. A lot of men got resentment because you're angry at your baby mama. You're angry at your ex wife. But I'm a witness. The more you say anger, the more you can't get your blessing because your hands ain't ready. You're not prepared for it. But I hear God for the baby. Make up your mind. Let's do it God's way. Because God's way is the best way. Everyone stand your feet. Thank you, God, Father. Thank you. Woo. Come on, give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Every man, come to the altar. Every man, come to the altar. I need the old I need the end I need the oh bless me now my Savior my God don't be changed to thee. Come on, I need the old. Come on, help me. I need me. Yeah, we are. Come on, oh, bless me. I say. I come to to the yes yes come on and say yes yes oh yes yes Listen, man. The responsibility falls on us. And sometimes the enemy puts you in a negative mentality. He says, I'm beyond hell. As long as you are living, you're not beyond hell. Someone anoint you as an encouragement to you. No matter what you feel, press through it. When I'm when I'm working out, come on, Deacon George. Deacon George just be my my partner at Planet Fitness. When the weight's heavy, you don't let it stay on you. You push that bad boy back up. And when you push it back up, you become stronger. Am I right, somebody? Well, God is saying, even if you are depressed. Push it back up. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for these men right now. Thank you, God, for sparing their lives and keeping them together. We bind the adversary that speaks to the mind and speaks to the heart. And God, wherever his children are at, bless right now. Let us be obedient to the word of God. In the name of Jesus. I pray for Norman right now, Lord God. I thank you for his words. He saw a couple of my TikToks and said, Bishop, thank you for the encouragement. God touch him right now. Ah, Norman, I hear God says, just walk forward. Stop the doubting yourself. Yes. Uh, thanks for reminding me, Lord. God says, don't forget, I put my hands on you because you are a preacher. Mm -hmm. Leading me want you to feel that because of things that happen in your life, that God's anointing is off of you. I got news for you, son. When God speaks a word, he cannot return to away. God cannot take the word back. And the, re oh, oh God. and the reason why you're having so many difficulties is because you're not doing what God called you to do. You know the calling's on your life. And there's a calling you getting closer to God, not further away. And as you walk closer, God says, I will reveal more to you in Jesus' name. 
Someone say amen. amen. Thank you, God, for Greg. This young man, he's going to be a deacon in this church. Yes, yes, yes. When I was here at the food pantry on Wednesday, this man, young man was helping me, Lord God, big time. Even when I had to leave to do some stuff, counseling at Bridgeport, Lord God, you used him to help to tidy up the church and put the church together. So God, anoint him right now. I hear God says, prophetically, I'm giving you blinders. You know how the horses have blinders so they won't get riled or, fo or, or lose focus? And God's giving you spiritual blinders so that you'll stop looking at people and you'll just focus on God. That's where you at, Greg. Because you're so easily distracted. You're so easily distracted. And God is saying, I've called you to put your hands to the plow. I'm in the book, somebody, and I don't look back. In Jesus' name. God, in the name of Jesus, move on him. Even the more. In Jesus' name. Amen. God, I pray right now for the man bless this, 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 this capable. It's kind of like this, this young man has so many gifts. So many gifts. It's hard to number. Give him wisdom. On how to use them, and, and let him understand this: that when you when you have more gifts, come on, somebody, you got more demonic attack coming after you. Because the enemy wants to bind you; he wants to keep you into a bad place. But you're making up your mind today. God, I've decided to follow you all the way. Bless him. Use him for your glory. Use him for your might. In Jesus' name. Someone say, Amen. God bless Mr. James. He has no children yet, but at the right time. Bless him. Give him the right mate. Come on, somebody. Give him the right mate that will work with him, that will understand him as he as he understands her. I pray this right now, Lord God, that next year this time, it will be your will. Let him find that young woman, God, that will be by his side. Let him encourage and lift him up and to lift each other up. I pray that prophetically. I put a coat on him many years ago, Lord God, and he became a minister for not many days since. Bless the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God a praise, somebody. Give God a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know God is good. And all the time. Amen. We thank God for Bishop Blast. Come on, give Bishop Blast a hand, y'all.